everybody. It is time for some deco days. So I am part of Deco Arts um, Blogger Outreach Program and um, I am committed to um, talk about their products, which I really love, and to maybe give you some new insight into their products that maybe you're not aware of. So every couple of weeks or so, I'm going to be doing something with the Deco Art products. So I'm really super duper excited about it. So today, <clears throat> um, let me just kind of run down what I'm going to be doing kind of, you know, you never know. Um, I'm starting out with um, my usual MDF board. And this is a 12 by 12. And I've got some, uh, I've got a, I've got some collage elements that I've put together, and then I've kind of cut up. This is one of my collage collage packs available on my website, and of course, that link will be below on the blog. So if you want to get that, you can. And then, so I'm going to put that down with some. This is. Um, Deco Arts or Americana, if you're not familiar with that, Americana is is basically Deco Art. Um, be putting that down with some Deco Page, and then once I get that dry, I'm coming back in, and this is <clears throat> something really cool. So normally these are kind of in your, they're at Home Depot, they're in the furniture kind of department or the furniture staining, furniture painting areas normally. These are Americana's um, chalky finish paints. And they have them in smaller tubes, like this is um, a chalky finish paint as well in a, in a smaller one. I'm using these. Um, I'm gonna put that, put my, my uh, papers down, let it dry, then come back over with some chalky finish and um, sand it down. And I want to be able to show you that the chalk paints aren't necessarily for furniture or wood pieces or different things like that, although I am working on wood, but that you can create some really, really cool art with them as well. So I'm going to be using those and um, probably a couple stencils. I'm not exactly sure where exactly all of this is going to go. And then I will be using this. This is um, also Americana Deco Art stencil. It's also found in the furniture um, area because a lot of times they uh, people will put you know this type of stencil on a piece of furniture. But it's gonna make a fabulous piece of art. I'm going to. I'm going to be using this with some deco art modeling paste. You will not believe how beautiful this is going to be. <clears throat> and then I might add some more color. I'm not sure. If I do, I will be using deco art or Americana's paints. And what's great about the media, the chalk paint, the regular craft paints, is that they're all intermixable. Um, in, you can use them on all different kinds of projects, which is what I love. And um, they're really economical. And they're not super duper expensive. So you get to create and not have to spend a fortune. After I get everything down, this is um, a cream wax that I'm going to put over the top of it it's going to take everything down, tone it down, and give it a really wonderful aged effect. So those are my thoughts of where I'm going. All of the links for the supplies will be on the blog so you can check out exactly what I'm using. And if you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to send me an email and I will do my best to get back to you as soon as possible and answer those for you. So let's get our hands dirty.
Okay, so this is dry now, and I do want to say this about the decoupage. Um, it's a little thick for me because I'm used to using like matte, regular matte medium, but if you water it down just a tiny bit, it works wonderfully, and I will say this, it dries beautifully. Um, it's not tacky or anything, so uh, make sure that you get under all of the edges and everything that's overlapping, and you can smooth it out with your finger or a credit card or something like that. I like all the bumps. Um, and th it just adds more character to the piece, in my opinion. That's my style. So, my palette knife, I'm now going to, I'm actually going to lay down the red in spots here, and I'm not going to cover the entire piece um, because I want my paper, background papers, to show through. But, oh, I need to get this mixed up a little bit more. Um, actually, I'm going to put the lid back on get this mixed up just a little bit more. But I'm going to put this red down and it is titled Romance. And I'm going to put it down and I'm going to let it dry thoroughly and hit it with my heat tool. Let it dry thoroughly. Then come back over with the um, turquoise because that's the color that I want to show the most. Come back over it with the turquoise and sand it down so that some of that um, red shows through so it looks like I've got years of age on there. So uh, that's the next step. All right, so this is all dry and the texture is lovely. Oh my gosh. If you're looking for some grunginess, the finish, how it dries, and the, it's how thick it is. It, it gives you a lot of texture. Love, 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 love. So I'm going to sand it down. I use, I'm using um, drywall sandpaper just because it works really well. I like how it sands. Oh my heavens, this is so yummy, delicious. So I've sanded it down. I've sanded all the edges and everything. And I didn't go over absolutely everything because I didn't want to lose the texture that the paint was creating, but I wanted it to look grungy and old and weathered, and so some of that red would definitely show through. And then, of course, this is going to get toned down once we put the wax on it, but um, I am in love. So now this stencil is perfect because my board is 12 by 12 and I can line it up just perfectly. And I am, because the stencil is so big, and I'm working with texture paste, I'm going to tape it down to the sides. Normally I, I'm not too particular about taping things down, but I want this to be um, really crisp and clean, so I tape the sides down so that it doesn't move. And I get my palette knife back out. Get it rinsed off and I'll put this um, modeling paste on and then I'm going to let it dry. Um, you can hit it with your heat tool but a lot of times it puffs up and I'm, I'm not very patient at waiting <laughs> but I'm going to probably hit it with my heat tool a little bit but I don't want it to puff up. I want it to, um, well you know, I'll just have to see, see how it goes. But uh, yeah, that's the next step. So there she she's dry and now I'm gonna add a little bit of color here with the wax and this is um, deep brown and I'm just taking it straight from the bottle. And I want to get a nice, heavy coat. I want it to be grungy. I want it to collect in all of the grooves. I want to just rub this in and just really 
give it that aged feeling. So I'm going to put several coats of this on till I get to the desired look that I'm wanting. This is dry now that I've got that wax on there and oh my gosh I love the look love 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 I want a little bit more depth and some highlighting on here so I've got my pan pastels and I'm just now going to just kind of grunge it up just a tiny tiny bit more and then we're gonna call her done but I want to highlight just some of these edges here, get it really nice and grungy. she is beautiful grungy yummy goodness now I am gonna spray a quick clear fixative over this because I've used my pastel on the top and I'm going to paint the sides and the back um, black and she's all done come back again every two weeks I'll be doing um, some type of fun new thing with some deco art products so I hope you have a great day and we'll talk to you soon.